this video, <clears throat> this video, I'm talking about how the banks get over on the Fed and on society, and how 12 banks feed the Federal Reserve, which regulates and prints the money and sets the interest rates, it sets the discount rate, and it sets the reserve requirement ratio. You know how they play with derivatives and and um, put back stocks and put options and how they um yeah it's a little term I call how they bet against stocks so and betting that they would drop by a certain date and how they did that on 9-11 okay well let's talk about 1913 you know the Federal Reserve established it has seven member board has 12 Federal Reserve banks now the purchase and sale of government securities is the main way the Fed is going to control the money and does control the money you know the, the notes the uh, bills the bonds um, there's also securities that are sold and and they, they require a certain amount you know when I talk about the <clears throat> rate requirement ratio you know like say 10% they require 10% of they require them to have 10% and they can loan out the 90 now banks they purchase securities because they are low risk investments compared to the consumer loans especially during recessions see this is what happened is that um, the Fed buys the securities and the interest rates drop and the, and the economy gets stimulated right but the banks see as they're regulating the interest it's, it's like they're working together these guys are regulating one hand is regulating the interest rates and the and the discount rates and the reserve requirement ratio the other one is loaning the government bonds and when one goes bad it depends on the other and they're working together to take your money out of your purse with two hands, two handed. They're pickpocketing with you with two hands. <clears throat> so, there's many studies by MDs that have been done that shown that fluoride, which is in many things, I saw it in the uh, Alhambra water. It says right there, fluoridated water. Fluoride in toothpaste, fluoride in this and that, okay? And when you consume too much of it, it builds up in your body and it has serious side effects including cancer and you know killing far more brain cells than most drugs out there so what is going on here is they're dumbing you down while they're robbing you you know that is pretty much what they do in the ghetto a hustler does you know a pimp does to his whore he dumbs her down says this is all that matters is slanging that pussy none of that important stuff matters no educational stuff matters this is what drug dealers do to the crackheads. You know, don't talk anything. You no, know, they don't want to sit there and talk about anything intelligent. Just buy the dope and, and go on being a dickhead, being a dumbass. And as the dope dumbs them down, it's easier to hustle them as well. And so it's the same thing with the government, since they're big time drug dealers, they're big time pimps, and they're big time hustlers and robbers. They're pickpocketing you with both hands. Remember, twelve Federal Reserve banks. Seven member board, 1913 is when it started. Do not forget this, this is key, okay? This is key. The banks buy government bonds and securities and they're actually holding up the Fed. So an article I'd like to touch on before I leave is an article by, <clears throat> by Bloomberg. Now let me show you this article. Give you some cars. It says foreign banks tap Fed's secret line. US <coughs> US Federal Chairman Ben Bernanke it's a two year fight to shield crisis, squeeze banks from the stigma of revealing their public loans, protected a lender to local governments in Belgium, a Japanese fishing corporate financier, and a company part owned by the Central Bank of Libya. Dexia, SA DexB, based in Brussels and Paris, borrowed as much as 3.3, I mean 33.5 billion throughout its New York branch from the Fred's discount window lending program. So, the Fed's are bailing out the foreign banks as well and they have that same relationship with them and who are the bankers the Rothschild banking cartel for instance okay so this one family 
which controls these banks all over the world, which are getting bailed out, and which are also buying up bonds and, and buying up companies and anything that's worth anything they're buying up, while they're controlling the money and the and the controlling the interest rate at the same time. Think about it. This is just this is very basic robbery. See all the different banks and any banks they don't own. Well, we're going to go to that country and fight them and take them over and do them like we did Gaddafi. That is what they're up to.